This is gonna be a good one. Welcome back. Have you ever wondered how savvy investors manage and control their assets, but stay out of the spotlight? It all starts with setting up a trust and stepping in as a general manager. In today's video, we're gonna dive into this powerful strategy and show you why it's a game changer for anybody who wants to manage their wealth. You'll discover the step-by-step -step process that makes this setup not just possible, but preferable for anybody looking to take control of their financial future. Get ready to transform your understanding of asset management and personal wealth. I'm gonna cover four main criteria. First, contract creation and obligation. Imagine you're crafting your family's financial blueprint and the trust is your first bold stroke. To contract with yourself as a general manager of a trust, you need to create a management agreement where you sign as the general manager and the client's endorsement is the trust trustee. This agreement will outline the responsibilities and powers you have as a general manager, including managing the trust assets, making financial decisions, and operating within the bounds of the trust objectives. Step in as a general manager and you're basically the CEO of your family's finances, Inc. You set the goals, make the calls, and keep the ship steady, all tailored to your family's needs. As general manager, you officially take on the role of managing the day-to-day -day operations of the trust. This includes handling business, property, or any other assets as specified in the management agreement. The agreement should clearly state that you can perform all necessary actions, such as transferring titles, managing leases, and handling other agreements within the duration which is typically not to exceed 10 years. So at least 10 years without renewal. Number two, legal protections and contractual obligations. Here's where it gets beefy. Under Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution for the United States of America, I think it's 1778, your role as a general manager and a trust itself are locked down tighter than Fort Knox. This legal armor means your real intentions in managing your family's assets won't get twisted by legal jargon or drowned in paperwork. Number three, my favorite, privacy and independence. Picture your trust as your family's secret recipe. Managing your trust ensures that the recipe stays safely in the family vault, private and protected. The contract and your role as general manager are protected under Article 1, Section 10, which prohibits states from passing any laws that impair on the obligation of contracts. This means that the agreement you make as part of the trust cannot be invalidated or interfered with by state laws, ensuring that your managerial decisions and actions are upheld. Signing an oath of privacy is like erecting a no trespassing sign on your personal affairs. You hold the key to who gets access. Number four, implications of independent contractor status. Embracing an independent contractor status within your trust gives you the flexibility of a gig economy pro with the benefits of a CEO. If you're not familiar with what a gig economy pro is, I left a description of what one is in the, down in the box down there, check it out. It'll blow your mind. This means you can tailor job duties, innovate, and expand your trust operations without traditional employment red tape slowing you down. It's perfect for keeping up with soccer games and stock games. If you made it this far, thank you. And thank you for commenting and showing support on the Declaration of Trust video. I knew it was a lot of us out there. I'm just overjoyed to have found a family. So let's grow, let's build this legacy. This is the first video of a series exploring the parallels of maximums of equity and trust. If you're not familiar with maximums of equity, you are now, because today, contracting with yourself as a general manager aligns with the maximum. Equity looks at substance, not just form. And understanding this, now you can revolutionize managing your own trust and stepping up as a general manager. If you're excited about this and tailoring this to your financial strategy, leave a big fat thumbs up, hit that like button right now, subscribe right now. We on this journey. We're looking at the mechanics behind it. And let us know in the comments. Together, we can transform financial dreams into reality. So let's get to it. In the bottom, we grind and we stay focused. Building up the legacy, singing here to play hopeless. Family first, that's the model we live by. Stacking up the paper in the fifth sky. Finance is on point, we taking no risks. Investing in the future, laying down the bricks. Generational wealth, that's what it's all about.